Working hard? <clears throat> it's the lumbago. Now, if I overdo it, I I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. Oh, you can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> get up! Ow! I I I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I, I went into town, and, oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Uh, oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to San Denis. Charles, Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. Come on, let's get off. All right. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. Well, me neither. <sighs> All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. <sighs> let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons. You take the slum. Now, uh, how about I take the saloons and you take the slums? Okay. Doing okay, girl. Hello, sir. Joseph. First time here. Uh, buenos dias, señor. Joseph. Excuse me. Bonjour. How can I help you today, sir? Listen, you seen a big Indian fella? Huh. Indian? Yeah. A boxer. No. Sorry, mister. No. Actually, yes. He, I think he's fighting, I believe. Fighting out behind Saint Saturnine. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem. Just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. <laughs> Asked that first barman I met, and he told me Charles was here. <laughs> Not Folks, one of life's great mysteries, surprise. turns out. <laughs> they hate a massacre, and you are a killer. We both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. He don't know the half of it. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. 
I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of, just... I don't know. I, I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So... So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive, too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Ladies sure, I'm a gentlemen, fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you. An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not-so-noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Injun Hercules. The savage, the untamable, the unbeaten, and I say unbeatable, Lone Wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. You know what to do, Senor Smith. Oh, Pretend he's Micah. Framed or something. Knock him out. Kill that bastard. Hit him, Lone Wolf. <laughs> Try and stay on your feet, you hear? Don't black out just yet. Lone Wolf. What the hit him, Charles? Pretend he... <laughs> Come on, Lone Wolf. Better get you the hell out of here. Hey! Lone Wolf! Whoa! How? Made my months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. <laughs> so it goes. It's your share, partner. If we just made the bed, I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Uh, just have a few urns to run. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. This way. My bag's on the dock side. So, what happened? You mean back then? Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You, you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel, with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got him. I'm... Bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. Bad going on worse. He wasn't a good man. None of us were. But uh, maybe he was true to himself. 
Him and his code. <laughs> that pig-headed bastard. You get sick like that, I guess you... You gotta cling to something. You was hoping to come out of it. Hope was about all he had left. Maybe all any of us have. Hmm. I heard that with this new century... What's it to be? Anyway, I heard all you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Okay. Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> Gunshots, better chance we have. Of denying it, at least. No, we can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. If they take us in, we won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get in a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? I think we're clear. If I ever want to go back, Remind me that I hate Saint Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple. John Charles! <laughs> you boys been all getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. 